so you've decided that you want to start doing photography and especially newborn photography you see all those cute babies and you're like ah oh, i can do this stuff but you also have the question where do i start and mainly i think the most important question is what camera do i buy what lens so in today's video i'm going to talk about five things what you need in order to start a newborn photography hobby or a business in your own home and it's a little bit expensive to start with one thing but the rest you can make them and you can find them anywhere in your city so let's get started I'm Victoria Burkushal from Lifetime Story Photography and I own my home studio for about three years. My advice when to start a photography as a hobby or and then you're thinking to make it a business is that invest, save some good money for a good body and a good lens. So that's the first thing what you need. Uh, when I say a good body, that doesn't mean you have to spend 10 grands or 7 grands. But I remember when I started, I spent about $6,500. So this is where you invest a little bit more money. But think like this, that camera will last you for 15 years or more. Um, when I started, I ended up buying Canon 5D Mark III. I still use it today. I haven't changed the body. Yes, there are new camera out and the mirrorless, it's a new trend, which yes, one day I will jump into that pattern, maybe a little bit sooner than I was expecting. Uh, but what I'm telling you is to invest in good in a good body. And right now at this moment, if you don't want the DSLR uh, full frames one there are crop sensor two you can go in that way too but i still need to say go maybe for a mirrorless it will last you forever uh, and there are options from nikon to canon to sony so then after you have found your body and my advice is to go in the shop and fill the camera uh, feel the size of the camera how it feels in the hand for me canon felt good I love the menu, I love the dials, they were just handy for my fingertips. The next thing what I suggest you to do, and if you don't have the money to invest in an amazing camera body, I do say buy an okay camera body, but invest in a better lens. The lens are the most important thing, I think, for giving you that quality image the that blur in the background the sharpness uh, if you want to do videos at some stage then you really have to have um something which focuses on you and doesn't you have image stabilization in it my go-to lens when i started i decided to buy separate body and separate lens even though the kit was better priced but I went for 2470, 2.8, because I said, if I want to photograph my child, I can still do it at 50 mil, 70 uh, mil millimeters, um, or I can, and I can still use that 2.8, or I can shoot it a family or a group at five. So I had this option where I said, I need something which is, wide open i can photograph something from a, above down because i can go to 24 and i don't need to lean over or be too close or too far so for me the 24 to 70 was a better option than 24 to 105 the kit lens now talking about nowadays i still use that lens especially for portraits um moms with kids and so on or family i still use that for babies though i went and i bought a sigma art 1.4 50 millimeters and it's a prime the sweetest thing ever 
when you will find your style your colors in your images then you can try and borrow lenses from friends you can even borrow from companies and they will tell you if it's your thing i didn't believe the sigma art will be my thing i believed always canon will be my canon favorite lenses because of that creaminess and warmth but man sigma art hands down so once that you get a little bit more uh, used to your camera and your manual modes and you get some money into your business digital business then you can go and buy prime lenses until then i think you can start with a more versatile versatile um, lens now i know there is a new camera body coming out canon r5 and r6 and there is a new lens coming out which is 24 to 70 2.0 or 2.0 um that will be my go-to lens i will be like nah, you don't need any other lenses besides that it's low enough open wide enough to to go to 24 millimeters you can um, have lots of light at 2.0 uh, so that will be my go-to lens now the second thing what you need to start a newborn photography and this is something which you don't have to pay and you have it at your fingertips it's a natural light window and it's a window you have it in all the homes now there are two differences in here right now my window this is a space where we created we extended the terrace into the uh, the window into the terrace and we removed that balcony so we had this veranda which was 1.5 meter wide and i was doing my newborn photography and i wasn't super happy with the light and it was mainly because i had this 1.5 space or white space in front of my window which wasn't giving me the natural light the straight natural light and it was always patchy or something like that so finding the right window with a beautiful light coming maybe check your windows in the morning and take that room over and do it as a newborn uh, room a uh, newborn photography room then the second thing which i will tell you once that after you find the window is to make sure that you diffuse diffuse that light because having a harsh light into your window it won't make your beautiful baby skin soft and creamy you'll have hot spots patchiness but also when you uh, pose your parents you, you won't have flattering light on their faces and having harsh shadows and spots you make them older instead of you'll see how soft it is and my face coming the light on my face it's even if i turn this way i don't know if you see it but if i put this light here you can see i have hot spots here so learn to use that window and i will make a video also coming soon about uh, the main important things to learn when you want to start in your newborn photography um, the, the third thing what you need to have uh, for newborn photography is a posing beanbag or some kind of surface where you can lay the baby and you can mold him and pose him safely um, and in the same time will be soft and not rigid um, and safe now there are many things on the market for you to choose of um, and they will be donut shape posing beanbag i did use um beanbag the one which the kids are sitting on it so i made it very tight and i made it like a beanbag but the simple way is maybe to buy a dog bed which you find it in any stores bunnings you can find dog bed in kmart um, and put uh, that dog bed it's soft enough but still tight and it's low enough for you not to be afraid that you'll drop the baby from a high uh, surface or high table uh, in saying that i can tell you the youtube university is huge google dog bags in newborn photography i'm having a video and i'll post the link below 
when I'm talking about bean bags, dog beds, and this donut posing a system which I'm using in my studio. Uh, so you can read that and listen that below. Um, what I suggest you to do is to join Facebook groups, put in their search bar what kind of bean bag to use for newborns, and you will get lots of answers. Okay, the I think it's the third thing. No, the first thing what you need to have is a basket or a bucket or a bowl. Why do I say you need one? Is because on the bean bag or the posing dog bed, you do some sorts of newborn posing, usually a little bit nudie shots and um, you need to be careful how you pose the baby um, you need to cover it a little bit maybe with just a wrap so that's one kind of pose but to get a little bit more variety in your session or your life you can wrap the baby so well like a hot dog let's say like that um, and if you're a mom or a dad you already know how to wrap your baby to put them to sleep the wrapping for newborns photography it's a little bit tighter but you can learn that too again in youtube videos and i do have wrapping tutorial in here and then posing the baby in this prop with the head here it's quite safe and it can go anywhere and um, doesn't have sharp edges and you can get lots of pictures from above, from close up, lips, eyes. So you can get that variety in your um, learning stages. Now, the last thing what you'll need to have. So we talked about camera, we talked about light, we talked about a posing bed. Um, we talked about having a prop, a bucket or a bowl. The last thing what you need to have are some posing fabrics. And these posing fabrics, you can find them in Spotlight, any fabric material. And mainly what you need to start with is some jersey wraps and blankets, some fleece blankets. This one you can buy it from Ikea, it's a fleece blanket. Um, maybe you need three or four of this to be able to put more layers into your bean bag. And you can use this um, backdrops on the floor also um, and I will have a video talking only about backdrops it's a huge video so watch the space and when you go and you buy your material you want to be stretchy so you can stretch it out you clamp it on your uh, surface on a dog bed so you don't need to do so much post-production and then when you have this material you can cut a piece of 30 centimeters from your backdrop and you can use it as a wrap so you can wrap the baby tight and it will still give you a little bit of stretch so the baby its circulation is not stopped i will suggest you to start with some white material to put it underneath and then some neutral colors uh, because um, until you figure it out your style it will take you a while white it's a little bit hard to photograph when you don't know at the beginning but having the white underneath and maybe putting a color one on top you can still get a little bit of variety in those um, shots so yeah this is what i used for the first five items or what i suggest you to do and as a bonus tip i will say you do need to have some kind of posing pillows or some some things to push under the baby's head and to mold them and the best thing what you can find besides this posing pillows which you find them in specialized newborn stores and i will put a link in the comments but you can find these towels at any stores, bathroom stores, Bunny, uh, Kmart, Target, you can roll them over 
you can put them under the baby's face under the blankets so you can mold the baby in a beautiful shape you can roll them if you have a big towel put them in the basket and you can lean the baby in there um, you can put them on front of the basket so the baby doesn't touch his with his skin or hands so posing towels for a start are brilliant so tip of the week just buy a bunch of this and you'll be good to start so i will end my video here because i think i've talked a little bit too much already and i can't wait to see you in the next one don't forget if you like this video like subscribe and i will make more video and let me know what you love to see next have a great day and see you next time